Hi, and welcome back to Learning Visual Fox Pro with Garfield Hudson. In this Q&A, we will look at how to add a top, uh, a menu rather, to a top level or SDI form. So we'll go ahead and create the menu first. So we get the pop-up here. We're not creating a shortcut menu, so we select menu here. For this exercise, I will use the system menus from Visual Fox Pro. So I will say quick menu. It will generate the menus here. I will remove a few options that I don't want. Um, we can remove help as well. We can preview our menu. And we have five um, top level menus. Okay, now what's crucial to making the menu attach itself to the SDI form is setting the options under view general options we must check the top level form so this menu will be attached to a top level form instead of the standard visual fox pro main window so we click ok here we then go back to menu and we generate which will then prompt us to save our file and create an mpr file which is just a prg but the m just symbolizes that it's for menu i cover this in other videos elsewhere <coughs> So now let's take a look at what's inside the MPR file. So, and here we will learn how to use this MPR file. So this is an exercise I will leave for the viewer. But essentially in our form, in our top level form, we will simply call our menu and passing in the reference to the form that's what this is this form we can see here reference to the form then we can either optionally pass in the name or some of these other parameters which you can read about here for yourselves okay so i will close that out and we will then go ahead and create our sdi or top level form create form sdi form one To make this an SDI form, we go to Layout, and we will change the Show Window option. So generally, or typically, windows are shown within the VFP um, frame. So if I were to run this now as is, let's say, you can see that the window um, resides within the boundaries or the confines of the Visual Fox Pro main window which is not what we want. We want this form to be the main window and typically we would hide the Visual Fox Pro window. <coughs> so we can do that by changing how the window is shown. So we go to show window and we will use option two. So that's fine. So what else we can also hide in our load or in, in, in it as well. I can hide this the Visual Fox Pro screen here. And when the form is destroyed, I can show it again. So if I run this form, the Visual Fox Pro screen will disappear in my task tray. Or you can see that I only have the one window running and now this is my main application. We will close and we are returned to the Visual Fox Pro main window. To add the menu that we have generated before, we'll just copy code here and then we'll go to the init as suggested by um, the code. And we'll simply call the menu and we'll give it a reference to this form. So the object that is shown here is the form. So I could say this or I could say this form. It's the, it's the same thing. Okay, so I'll use this for now, and we'll close here, and we'll run again. Save our changes, and now I have my form, and my top-level menu is attached.
Okay, so this is how you'll add a menu to an SDI form. Okay, hope that helps.